Oh, what is that? Dude, is that a hubcap? Oh my gosh, look at the size of that. Oh, I see some blue. Oh, dude, what is that? Look, there is thick, thick, thick oil coming up. Dude, no way. <laughs> What is going on today, guys? Today, we are back out on the boat. It is absolutely freezing. Today, it's only 55 degrees. It's a little bit cloudy, so I think it might even rain. Now, if you take a look behind me, we are right off of Lake Winnebago. This is a super big lake, but right here behind me actually used to be a resort back in the day. There used to be a restaurant here, all kinds of stuff. This place has been torn down for a while, as you can tell it is for sale but we're gonna try this spot out we're gonna start dipping our magnets around and we're gonna see if we can find anything here today if we don't find a whole lot right over here you guys is actually the spot where we found our world war ii missile so if this spot isn't as juicy as it looks you guys we're just gonna scoot down river and keep on dipping let's get right down to it start poking our magnet around and see what we can find here today if you guys would like to pick up some merch check it out it's a little bit dirty because I've been wearing it. This one's the old Crawfish Hotel. We got a couple Frankies in there. I got all different kinds of merch, you guys. Or if you would like to pick up a magnet, the links will be down in the description. All right, guys, today I got my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's start tossing along this wall here and see if we can come up with anything. Aha! Uh -huh. You guys, first find of the day. This is probably my 10th throw. I'm not finding a whole lot, but we finally got us a little something. What the heck is that thing, you guys? It's got like a little metal loop at the top and it's got two white cones or something. I can't tell if that's plastic or silicone or something. I don't know, maybe some kind of plug for something, an old school boat plug? I doubt it. That's a funky one. First find of the day. Oh, something slapped. Hey, hey, what do we got here, you guys? That was super unexpected. All them throws of finding nothing? Whoa, dude, is that an anchor? Oh my gosh, you guys, that's exactly what that is. Wow, that's like an old school pirate ship anchor. Look at that. That is definitely no modern day anchor. Look at like, what the heck is that? So it, I don't even know, that's crazy. I've never even seen one like that. Now that is a super cool find, you guys. Wow, that might even be worth more money than selling it to somebody to use it. That, that'd be more like a, for a decoration piece or something. I got something on here. What is this? Nothing too super heavy. Uh, oh, we got some color. What is that? I was gonna say like a fishing rubber or something, but look at all the holes in that thing. It does look like there's a fishing hook on there. What the heck is that? Besides the little rubber color we had on there, uh, check this thing out. Pretty sure this is one of them railroad arm pieces. Yep, you can see the threads on there. So this definitely screws into something and I think it's kind of broken so it would be more of like a hook. The old railroad hook. Look at that. I seen the little flash of color on there as I was pulling the weeds off. Heck yeah, you guys, we got us another fishing lure. The spinner still looks pretty decent. It still spins. You could almost go fishing with that sucker right now. <laughs> a little bit of cash money.
Oh, here we go. Something hanging off of there. What is that? Some kind of hinge? It's a long, skinny hinge. What the heck you think that one came off of? No way! And it still opens and closes. Definitely wasn't off of nothing too big. Just a teeny tiny one. And then I thought I seen, yeah, like a little hook type thing here. Dude, no, that's not a fishing hook. Now that would be the old fishing hook for sharks, you guys. Holy smokes, look at that's where you tie your line. I got one, I got one. Oh, right here. Kind of felt like I landed right on something. Just playing with it a little bit. Yeah, here we go. What is this? This is pretty heavy. Oh, what is that? Look at that thing. Looks like some kind of vent or some kind of grate. It's the old cheese grater. Look at it, it's got like uh, pokies coming up off of there. Honestly, it kind of looks like a framing bracket. Like when you're building a house, this is the thing you would slap over a couple pieces of wood to kind of make them stay together. Something with the holes in it. Oh yeah, you guys, it's definitely raining out here. Not hard, but it's enough where I gotta keep cleaning off my camera lens like every 30 seconds. We are getting wet today. I got something here. Plucked it right up out of the mud. I love it when that happens. Oh, that sucker's swirling in circles. What are you doing there? Whoa, what is this? What the heck is that? Dude, <laughs> you guys, no way. First of all, look at what's attached to there. We got one of these little chip looking things. If you've seen any of our previous videos here, I don't know what the deal is with these things, but there's so many of them in here. Huh. But you guys, check that one out. Caught me the old shovel head. And there's no handle left at all on that sucker. Usually when we find shovel heads, there's at least part of the wood handle on there. This one doesn't have any of it at all. We caught us the old shovel head. I thought I felt something on there, but I couldn't even see it, you guys. Look at that. We got us a little piece of chain. What do you guys think they were doing with that one? That's about big enough to tie around your ankle and probably nothing else. I don't know, you guys. That's just a teeny tiny piece of chain link. Huh. Nothing too fancy. Feel some weight here, but I didn't feel anything click. Oh my goodness, what is that? Big mess of something. Looks like, uh, dude, another railroad spike. Other than that, you guys, oh, I see another railroad spike, so that makes three. I see a little bolt on there, uh-huh. I see a little hook, who knows what that goes to. But I also see, again, some more chain link here. This one's way bigger than the other one. And now that I think about it, maybe this hook here goes to this chain. Look at that sucker, that's so sharp, that would poke right through these gloves. Yeesh. Just a steady sprinkle on us here today. Every time I look down at my camera, I got something. I got something here. But every single time I look down at my camera, there's water spots on it. Like right now, there's water spots. And I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but I can see them on the lens. I got something, yeah. This is kind of heavy. What do we got? Whoa, what the? heck is that? Oh, hey, you guys. Oh, I snapped it. But you guys, this is one of them like railroad uh, hook tools or something. Look at, you can see the handle on there. And then the other end is some kind of hook. I don't know if they use this to remove the railroad tracks or, or fix them. I don't know what they did, but I'm pretty sure this is some kind of railroad tool. Pretty cool, you guys. There is some old stuff in this area.
Um, yo, look at this, you guys. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, wait, there is something on there. Ha! First of all, check it out. Looks like we got the old fishing rubber. I do still see a hook on there, but I'm going to say that's probably junk. But you guys, look at this. I don't know what happened here, but it, maybe from bobbing my magnet, maybe I stirred up some mud. Do you see this oil slick on top of the water? Dude, that's massive. Holy smokes. That's like, there's got to be a whole tank of gas in here. What the heck? Wow, I mean, that's a lot of oil, dude. You guys see that? Holy cow. It's like the whole top of the water. That cannot be good. Oh, I stuck something hard here. Could this maybe be the oil spill explanation? Uh, I don't know. Whatever this is, is not coming up very easily. Oh, I got it. Here it comes, you guys. What do I got here? Whoa. Hold on. Let me clean this sucker off a little bit. Whoa. What is that? You guys, check this thing out, man. From this side, it looks like maybe you could put some pins in here but they wouldn't go straight through i don't know what to think of this thing but it's got like a little hole or a cubby on this side that's kind of a weird looking something man my guess would be maybe some kind of link for the train but i guess i'm not 100 percent sure Look at that, I definitely felt some weight on there. Look at that one, you guys. That's definitely some kind of bowl for sure. Looks like we're missing the bottom completely. Wow, but look at all that gunk on there. This thing had to be down there forever. Well, we ain't cooking no river stew in that pot. But you guys, there was another railroad spike on there. And what looks like another fishing jig. Again, probably junk though. And then there was this thing. What the heck is that? Uh, nothing too fancy on that one. Some kind of clipperoo. Oh my. Something heavy here, you guys. Oh, is that going to come up? Oh my gosh, it is. Whoa, that's extremely heavy. What the? What is that? What? Honestly, I can't even tell what that might be yet. Oh, they broke apart. What the heck? There's two of them. Oh, you guys. Yeah, I know exactly what these are. These are railroad brake pads. Literally brake pads for the trains. Wow, those things are heavy. I couldn't imagine these brake pads just flying off of the train. What do you think? They changed them and tossed these suckers in? Holy cow. stuck to something here we go oh this is heavy oh my gosh this is like as heavy as them brake pads or maybe even heavier what in the world is this oh it's like a bucket no it's like a what the heck is that oh some kind of container you guys is there anything in there i don't know if that's that oil that i'm smelling on top of the water or if everything smells like oil, I can't even tell. What do we got in there? Nothing or something. Looks like just a bunch of mud, honestly. What do you think that's like some kind of ammo crate? Honestly, I have no clue. All I know is that sucker is old as can be. Not only that, you guys, but we had us the old magnetic rock. That's kind of a funky one. Could be a meteorite, who knows. And we got us a little scrap can top. 
and a little fishing lure. And honestly, that one does not look that bad. The quickest way to tell if these fishing lures are good or not is looking at the rubber. If it's still wobbly like that, it's still pretty fresh. A little bit of cash money. Bloop, bloop. Oh, we landed on something. We we'll landed right on her. That's, that's our good heavy. That's real heavy. What is that? We are hitting the boat already. I don't know if I like that. Oh, what do we got? Big old pipe, it looks like. Piper, Piper, no swiper. Um, as I'm doing this, look, there is thick, thick, thick oil coming up as I'm messing with this pipe. I don't think there'd be oil coming from a pipe though, would there? Oh, there is, what the? No, that's exactly what it's coming from. I, literally, look at, look at what all just poured out the end of that pipe. That is all came from this. Yeah, there's some kind of oil or, or that's gotta be oil, I can smell it. And that's just showing up now from disturbing it. Imagine how much has been like leaking out over the years. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, the smell of oil is so strong on this pipe. It's like, it, I'm, it's like it's in my mouth, I can taste it. Definitely some kind of oil pipe for sure. And no doubt that's good to get out of the water. There we go, felt a little something. A little something. Here we go, pretty heavy. Uh, and pretty small. What in the world is that? You guys, looks like just a cylinder block of steel. Yeah, I don't know what to think of that thing, you guys. Maybe just some kind of steel cutoff piece. Whatever that is, there's so many clams on there. Am I pulling something? I feel like I got snagged on like a rope. That was weird. Oh, what is this? Uh-huh, check it out, you guys. Looks like we caught us the old blue Paps ribbon can. Wow, that's an old one. It sucks there's a hole in the side here, but if you set it up on a shelf right, you wouldn't even see it. I love finding stuff like this. 60, 70 years ago, somebody was sipping on this sucker. Pretty crazy. I got something here. It might be some weeds too, yeah, because I threw it right in the weeds, but I felt something pulling. Yeah, here we go. Hey, is that a, oh no it's not. You guys, I thought we caught a pliers. Like a big old sucker. Definitely not what that is. Honestly, I think this is like a piece of a bike. Ah, probably a couple bikes in here. Oh, I snapped something there, you guys. Pull nice and slow. It's still on there, yes. We got something here. Something major, oh my gosh. Yeah, whole bunch of bubbles, and as heavy as can be. Oh my gosh, you guys, I should just know better by now. If I find something this heavy next to the railroad, that's probably what it is. We got us the old railroad brace bracket, the old L-shaped piece. It's like clear enough to read the numbers on there. Huh, super cool, man. That sucker's heavy. What is going on here? Holy mess. Um, tons of weeds, but I definitely see the obvious bike rim. You can still see some of the spokes sticking off of that sucker. It almost looks like the old mountain bike rim. 
And underneath all the weeds here, it looks like, again, you guys, another one of these skinny round chip things. And I'm guessing this is the bike sprocket, like the inner piece of the rim. And I'm sure it probably goes to that one. the heck is that hanging off of there? That's a really weird one, you guys. I don't know what to think of this. Looks like obviously some kind of metal bracket and it's broken. Looks like a bike bell. Bring, bring, huh. Here we go. I just stuck something pretty good. Oh, what's this? Is that even gonna come up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, that's not gonna come up. What's it grabbing onto? Oh, it just popped loose. What is going on? Oh, that's like an extension cord or some wires. No, that's definitely a cord, you guys, but it's hand tied to whatever this thing is that I just grabbed. You can tell somebody took the cord like off of the back of the TV or something and hand tied it to this metal bracket. Pretty crazy, you guys. Something with the electrical cord tied on there. I got something again the very next throw. That sucker's pretty heavy. It's amazing how much stuff is in here, you guys. Whoa. Oh, look at what that is. You can see the, the lid on it, you guys. We caught us the old 55 gallon drum lid. That stuff is just not good for the environment. I'm sure back in the day, this whole river and shoreline just got absolutely obliterated with all kinds of stuff. Blech. Something here. Boink. What do we got? Oh my gosh, that's, wow. Hold on. This is heavy. Nice and easy. It's actually getting a little lighter as it comes up. Huh. What do we got here? A whole bunch of weeds, of course. But I see a couple things on there for sure, you guys. Wow, that's heavy. Hold on a second. Let me dip that in there, wash that sucker off quick. Oh, what do we got? Oh, you guys, look at this. Bingo, man, we caught us one of them railroad springs. And I'm pretty sure this type of spring comes off of the train itself or one of the train cars or something like that. And look at that. Now that I'm looking at it, this looks like some more wire tied on there. So again, do you think this was maybe being used as an anchor or a trot line? That's the only thing I can think of when I see hand tied stuff on there. Other than that, it looks like just a big old piece of piping. Dude, again, there was a hand tied string on there. Pretty crazy. What is going on here? Something's messing with me down there. Something is really, really stuck in the mud, you guys. Did I just get it? I did. Oh, look at that. Holy smokes, you guys. That sucker was really wedged in the mud. What do you think that came off of? Maybe some kind of push cart? Something that you'd see in a hotel? Or maybe the old kitchen rack? Or some kind of grill grate? I don't really know, you guys. That's a pretty funky one. Oh, here we go. That's heavy. We are laying into all kinds of stuff. What is that? Some kind of piping or something? 
Oh, it's the old window weight, you guys. Check that out. Oh, is there writing on there? Dude, there is. Oh, on both sides. I've never seen that before. Let's clean it off quick. What the heck does that say? You guys, it says Lister. What in the world? Yup, Lister on both sides. That is super cool. The loop isn't broken. Now this one might honestly be worth some money. Super cool. Here we go. Wow, it's like almost every other throw all of a sudden. That's kind of heavy. <laughs> That's actually pretty heavy. Oh, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at what it is. Oh my gosh, man. First of all, what the heck is this? Look at this thing, you guys. Is that some kind of, like a shoe shaper? Put your foot in there and you determine what size your shoe is? I don't know. But you guys, check out this honker. Holy cow, and it still moves back and forth. It's still got like that rubber coating on there. And you guys, this is a big sucker. I'm pretty sure at the store, this is like a $50, $60 anchor. Heck yeah, you guys, cash money. Oh, that slapped to something. Where'd you go? Oh, something here. There's gotta just be tons of stuff in here. As much stuff as we've already pulled out, I just can't believe how much I'm still feeling down there. Oh, look at this, man. Is that some kind of wheel? Yeah. Now that's so tiny, you guys. That's not off a cart or nothing. That's gotta be off a toy. Maybe a toy horse and buggy, who knows? Wow. Ooh, what is that? See a little bit of white on there. No way. Looks like a bunch of scrap on there for sure, you guys. But check it out. I caught me a little light switch. Well, check that one out, you guys. That's pretty cool. We cost the old white light switch. What does that say on the back? Connected. We could turn the lights off. click in there not too much oh that's something here we go oh my gosh there's so much stuff in here oh that's that's weird what is this dude no really oh my gosh you guys hold on let me clean that sucker off a little bit look at dude we found another 55 gallon drum lid. That's gotta be what that is. Yeah, you can see the opening on there. They must have just been tossing barrel after barrel in the river. Ooh, what is that? All smashed and mangled up. Whoa, couple colors in there. Looks like probably just some junk jigs, yeah. You know? But this thing, what the heck is that, man? Dude, no way. You guys, I almost couldn't even tell what it was and you almost still hardly can. But if you look hard enough, this is the front of like a truck, like a toy truck. This is where the tires would go here. This is like the window. It doesn't say if it's like a Ford or a Chevy or what, but no doubt that is uh, definitely the front of an old toy truck. <laughs> is this dude i'm fighting this thing it's like i got a shark on there oh it's coming up you're lying to me what is this oh don't slip don't slip don't slip 
What the heck is this, dude? <laughs> Holy big long something. Whoa. Um. Wow, I'm gonna go ahead right off the bat here and say nothing too fancy. Looks like just the old scrap metal something here. Who knows what that came off of? I was kind of hoping for a sign. No such luck. Oh, here comes the old choo-choo. I've never seen that one before. I don't even think that's an actual train. What the heck is that? MPM XXV, whatever that is. Oh, look at this, you guys. This one here, I think is just um, like a, maybe a paint lid or something. That one's not too fancy. But this one, I can see the back of it and I already know that this one, yes! Oh my gosh, that's the cleanest one I found yet, by far. Wow, you can read every letter. There's hardly even a scratch on there. That one must have been sitting face down in the mud for sure. That's the only way that was preserved. Cause I'm pretty sure these things are decades old. DuPont Nitramon, you guys. And if you remember our last videos here, we found tons of these. We did a little Google search and we found out that this is something to do with some kind of explosive. I don't know if this this is the lid for the cans that they were maybe keeping the explosives in. That's pretty crazy. Oh, look at this. What do you think that is? Um, you guys, this kind of looks like a toy train track set. Yeah, you could like take these pieces here and connect them to more train tracks. It sure looks like it. Holy cow, that's kind of cool. You guys, again, I had to play with this thing to get it out of the mud for a, quite a while, but we got her, sea otter. Check this one out. This definitely kind of looks like uh, that other piece that we caught back there. Yeah, right here, you guys. So now we got two of these suckers and obviously they somehow go together, but I don't know what the heck this would be. Some kind of rack or something. That's coming right up. What was that? Yeah, here we go. Something here. Ooh. Oh, it's slipping off. What is this? Oh, I see colors, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think I just found a sign. Hold on, let me clean it off a little bit. Dude, no way. I see an S and I see an O and it's red. I'm gonna guess this is a stop sign, dude. Now that I say that, you can definitely see the shape of it. How old do you think that sucker is? Now that is super cool, you guys. And I wonder if you could get it straightened out again uh, without like breaking it. Stop! Oh, what is that? Something hit pretty good and then it came right off. Come here. Oh, we got it. Yeah, what's this? Coming up out of the mud. Ooh. Look at that thing, you guys. Looks like some kind of tray or some kind of pan maybe, but there's a big old hole in it here and two little holes there. 
I don't know what to think of that. Definitely not no oil pan or nothing. You ain't holding anything in there. I don't know what to think of this one, guys. Some kind of cover piece for something. Oh, a couple somethings here, you guys. Bunch of weeds. Oh, of course, that's to be expected. Looks like we got the old ugly. Oh, that's not no ugly nothing. You guys, another hubcap. And I don't even know what that one is, you guys. That's a funky looking design on there. What is this one? It's not bent up at all either. Oh my gosh, that's like in really good condition. You guys, if you've seen any of our previous videos here, we found a couple different hubcaps now. Wow, you guys, what a find. And to not even be dented up at all, this one's definitely a keeper. Oh, now you guys, I thought this was just a piece of rebar, but the more I'm looking at this thing, there's like little notches in there. You guys see those? And they go all the way around. What the heck is that for? Maybe something out of a machine? Who the heck knows? Oh, I see some blue. Oh, dude, what is that? No way. Mandarin orange segments. Holy cow, that's cool. Look, it's still got the person on there. Super cool. Oh. Looks like a couple things. You guys, no way. A flipping potato masher. Are you kidding me right now? We could mash us up some river potatoes. Super cool. But you guys, bunch of debris, another one of these circular chip deals. And then we had this thing on here. I don't know what to think of that at all. That's like a, wow. I don't even know what to think. That's a mystery piece for sure, you guys. What is that? Dude, is that a hubcap? Oh my gosh, look at the size of that. Again, you guys, what kind is that? I've never seen that symbol before, never. So they for sure must not make these anymore. Or, duh, I'm looking at it from the wrong side, you ding dong. <laughs> there we go, you guys, looking at it from the correct side here. Now you can see the colors. There's some red and blue and white in there. Somebody's gotta know what that is. And that is a big old hubcap, like, Compared to this one, this sucker's massive, you guys. Look at that. Super cool. And you can almost tell where the clams are on there. You can almost see how it was stuck in the mud just like that. This is probably the only part that was exposed. Wow, man, we are seriously finding some cool stuff in this area. Oh, here we go. Something coming out of the mud. Yep. Yupper, yupper. What's for supper? Come on. Come on, now. Eh? Whoa! Look at that thing. My mind is absolutely blown with the different cool stuff coming out of here. Are you guys digging this spot as much as I am? Because holy smokes. Now, what do you think of this thing? There's definitely some gears down here on the shaft part. And there's some gears up here. Some kind of gear piece to turn something. Who knows what, you guys. Oh my gosh, first of all, you guys, I seen this like mechanical piece 
I don't know what that is, but look it. We found another DuPont Nitromon lid. Wow, man. Knowing that this is some kind of explosive, it makes it a lot crazier. This isn't just a paint can lid or nothing. They were dealing with some heavy duty explosives around here and a lot of it. Super crazy. But you guys, check out this little mechanical piece here. My first guess when I see little tiny gears like this is always like the inside of a maybe a clock or a watch or something. But my second guess is maybe the inside of like a toy car or something that might move. This place is easily making its way up towards the top of my favorite spots. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am off the water. I got everything packed up and that is gonna wrap it up for today. I seriously cannot believe how much stuff is coming out of that spot, you guys. There's absolutely no telling what's left out there, but we will definitely be back. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.